welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I thought I'd give a quick review on connecting the Lumix G80-85 to your PC as if it was tethered. So you can take a shot, instantly get on your PC. Great for if you're doing uh, a show or an event and you want to show the client or you just want it backed up straight onto your PC. I'll be doing it on the G80. I believe it's possible to do it on all of the Lumix uh, cameras as long as they've got Wi-Fi. I have tried it with the TZ100. It works fine. There is some little flaws in, in the process, but we'll go over those as we go through it. Let's get to it. First I guess off, head over and open a file browser and just make a note of this network name. On mine it's Stuntman Surface. Next go to the folder or the drive you want to share. Go to Properties, Sharing and make sure it's shared. And OK that out. Next back on the camera head over to your settings, Wi-Fi and press on that. And go for, we'll go for a new connection Send images while recording, then to PC. And this we will go direct. Go over to manual connection. Can I go back to your desktop? Head over to your Wi Fi. You may have to refresh this a couple of times to get it to show up. But there it is, G80. If this is the first time you're connecting, it will ask for your password. But I've connected before, so it's already remembered that. So just come out of that. Go over back to your camera, and it'll go searching. 99% of the time I've done this, it never finds your PC. So just let it search, and it will say select PC. There's never anything there. Just go for manual input. And this is where you put in that network name that you had. In my case, Stuntman Surface. But make sure we put in exactly as it was. So make sure you write it down. Just type it all in. A bit long winded, but we get there. And press set. And there's my shared folder. E. And here it will show what it's actually going to be sending as a file format. If you want to change that, go to sending options, file format, and then you can change it to whatever, like raw. And press set. Come back to your desktop. Go to your shared thing, take a shot, and it should create a dated folder once you take the first shot. And inside there, will be the first image. And we'll just go off and take a few more shots around the room and they'll get imported. Just like that. One thing you can do with this, if you have got Lightroom or some other image editing software that will do watch folders, you can go to auto import, enable your auto import, And go back into it, or you can do it the other way around. Go to the import settings and select the watched folder. And what you want to select is that dated folder that it created. So mine was on the E drive, and that's the dated folder. Just select it, press OK, and come out. Take a shot and it gets imported straight in. Do that full size, put the lights out, and I'll go around and take a few more shots. And after you take each one, instantly imported so a client or whatever can see them straight away. When you're finished, head back to your camera, Wi Fi, 
turbinate, terminate connections. As easy as that. The only problem I've had with this system really is the dated folder that it creates. Whenever you, you take the first shot it'll create a dated folder. What I really wanted was the image to go directly into my selected hot folder for a DMP printer I've got. So that I take a shot, I go into the hot folder for the printer, printer would print out the size that I required. But unfortunately it creates the dated folder first so the hot folder can't read the image. I'm trying to find a way around that at the moment. If anyone has any ideas put a comment in the bottom. If you actually use this system with the Lubex cameras stick a comment in saying what you use it for, how you use it any differently. Um, if you like the video hit the like button. If you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much.